Yesterday's State Board of Elections meeting ended with arguments and a lot of yelling. LEX 18 had the only news crew there when the Secretary of State and the State Board of Elections argued over whether secret voter registration information was being revealed. So the question is, was it? LEX 18's political reporter Carolina Buchek turned to election, election security experts to find out who was right in yesterday's fight. That's tonight's big story at six. LEXT's camera caught part of this heated exchange after yesterday's State Board of Elections meeting. This was in the hallway where we were waiting for interviews. Back in the meeting room, you can hear the Secretary of State yelling, saying she heard someone tell the board they don't need to listen to her because her term is almost up. You can also hear Jared Deering, the executive director of the Board of Elections, tell LEX 18, quote, it's a circus and chaos. It's a circus and chaos. But before all of this happened in the hallway, things got tense during the meeting. I don't know how many of y'all have access to our voter registration system. Please don't put that on TV. Please do not put that on TV. Secretary Allison Lundergan Grimes put these posters up to show members of the board errors she found in the voter registration system. And she believes these errors were marking voters as inactive. This is Miss Valeria Bagley. We are marking her inactive on the basis of a card that's addressed to Tammy Jane Allen. There's no other way to show you all this because you aren't asking for the information, you aren't overseeing the information, so I'm bringing this forward to you today. Several of the board members got upset that these posters were shown, saying this information could put Kentucky's system at risk of a cyber attack. Please do not put our system at risk by putting how our fields are laid out on television in the state. This is beyond irresponsible. This is publicly available information. It is not. That is not publicly available. Yeah. The picture, the picture of the insults. Well, I, as chief election official, I'm gonna, who is responsible for maintaining the system and publishing it to the public because they deserve to see. And after the meeting, the board's executive director asked LEX 18 to not put images of these posters up. Because of system securities, I think any IT professional or engineer will tell you there are some systems parameters that you don't publish and you don't make them public. And so I'm asking you as journalists, as professionals, as voters of the Commonwealth, I hope you're registered, um, that you not publish those. So the question is, who's right? Was the Secretary of State, an elected official, allowed to publish this information? Or is the board's executive director correct when he says this puts Kentucky at risk? So LEX 18 turned to the experts, some who serve as elected officials and some who specialize in cybersecurity for answers. And we asked, does this poster put Kentucky's elections or voter registration system at risk? Not at all. Uh, first off, to be quite honest with you, um, any, uh, any malfeasance, even someone like myself trying to understand what exactly is on those boards, uh, would have some difficulty with all due respect to your TV camera equipment. Uh, there's a lot of information on there. Uh, and, and showing models and schemas of data uh, is not in itself a, a security breach. A hacker doesn't need those uh, to, to compromise the system, frankly. This is Gregory Miller, the chair of the nonprofit group, the OSEP Institute, which stands for Open Security Election Technology. The group is an election technology research, development, and education organization, and their goal, in part, is to, quote, increase confidence in elections. And their engineers ran through our video to see if the information on this poster could harm Kentucky's system. What they found is that this information is essentially the inside of the system. So in order for this to be useful, someone would have to first breach the system. And they believe even if that happened, the stuff on these posters isn't something hackers need. They're fairly complex uh, to, to be able to garner any useful data out of them looking across uh, a television screen at them. Uh, we've replayed your story several times. Yeah, there's some interesting stuff there, but as a, an attack, uh, as an attacker, I frankly wouldn't be bothered with it. Miller admits he understands why the Board of Elections is on edge, especially since cybersecurity and elections is a hot topic. But he believes in order for the public to have trust in elections, 
transparency is needed. And he thinks the Secretary of State did the right thing by showing the public errors in the system. Secretary Grimes is doing the right thing to bring all this stuff to the surface right now uh, to make sure it gets properly addressed if possible. The Board of Elections, on the other hand, still believes making these posters public was not the way to get this done. And it's important to note LEX18 is airing these images because the discussion of this information was done in an open public meeting. And the information was released by the Secretary of State, an elected official. In Frankfurt, Carolina Butchak, LEX18 News.